We've seen a gradual increase in the life expectancy of our citizens, and that is a good thing. We have also seen the nation become a leading healthcare tourism destination. This reflects our capability to deliver world-class healthcare treatment at a relative economic cost. However, medical services to the vast majority of our citizens are absent, very poor, or economically inaccessible. Our assets are our people. We must look after their health to be a productive nation. We must bring healthcare closer to the citizen patient, especially for the 70% in the rural areas. We need to have an increase in the number of nurses, physicians and other medical staff while improving the quality and the timeliness of the services provided. We need to significantly leverage the combination of information, medicine, technology and engineering to provide medical equipment and healthcare services in a more creative and a cost-effective manner. We need to ensure clear employment and commitment bonds so that the medical professions contribute to the nation for a period of time post-qualification and maybe even later on in their careers too. This will help provide for rural services and stem the brain drain to the cities and out of the nation. Thirdly, we must invest in providing telemedicine services to all primary healthcare centres and connect them with the secondary and tertiary centres. We need to provide a consistent quality of health centre and hospital infrastructure and the services they provide, the medicines, the materials, the equipment for the patients. Centrally, we need to then have a healthcare database linking citizen health metrics, diagnosis, treatment and prognosis etc. to be able to then have this information and to share it, share the trends and solutions which is accessible across all health centres and all health professionals. There are a few measures. The number of physicians, nurses and other medical professionals per a million citizens. A number of citizens per primary, secondary and tertiary health centre. The number of patients treated within each of these centres. Preventative screenings and the number of beds per citizen.